In this lesson, we're going to recognize alternate, corresponding, and interior angles in parallel lines. We begin with question A. You can see that angle A is in a Z shape with the 60 degree angle. This means that they are alternate and therefore equal, so angle A will also be 60 degrees. For question B, you can see the 50 degree angle and angle B are in a backwards F. This means that they are corresponding, so angle B will be equal to the 50 degrees, angle B will be 50 degrees. For question C, you can see they are in a backward N shape, which means that they are interior. So the two angles are the sum of 180, so angle C will be 180, take away 148, which is 32 degrees. For question D, you can see that the D and the 64 are vertically opposite. This means that they are equal. So D will be 64 degrees. And D and E are in an F shape, which means that they are corresponding. So again, they will be equal. So E will be 64 degrees. For question F, you can see that F and G are alternate which means they're equal and g and 125 lie along a straight line so they will add up to 180 so g will be 180 minus 125 which is 55 degrees so f will also be 55 degrees and finally question h you can see that h and 76 are vertically opposite, so they will be equal. So H will be 76 degrees, and H and J are in a N shape, so they will add up to 180. So J will be 180, take away by 76. J will be 104. And finally, I and H are alternate, so they will be equal. You know this works because I and J are on a straight line and they both add up to 180. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. And check out the link in the description for the full lesson.